WASD hacks in World of Warships with Dangerously Incompetent. I'm commanding the Kaiser, Tier 4 German battleship. On the Straits chart, it's a Tier 4 battle. Been fairly successful so far. Three kills. Not an awful lot of hits, a huge amount of damage, but useful kills. But what I want you to pay attention to is not all these battleships over here or these battleships over here, it's... Oh, you can't see them though. The two destroyers in the northwest quadrant. They've butchered our guys up north. And guess what they're going to do? Yep, that's right. They're going to come through and try and cut old dangerously incompetent down. But I've got a few tricks up my sleeves. Yes, that's right. WASD hacks. No more torpedo hits for me. Now at the moment I'm a bit, bit preoccupied. I'm being shot at from the south. The ship's in the north. And I've got to worry about those destroyers. Where have they gone? Are they popping through south? Probably. Maybe if we suddenly go towards the entrance we'll catch them unawares and get to see them before they shoot us with torpedoes. Because otherwise they could be s hanging around around those islands just waiting for someone to get in range. And of course, the battleships can see me, so the destroyers know I'm coming. Oh, we found one! But we're close enough that we can see him. Hoorah! But it's violent course change time. Because he's bound to have launched torpedoes. Could have ploughed myself into the, into the uh, cliffs there. Stop suddenly, but no, uh, you know, that's a gamble. Oh, probably a gamble that would have failed. Let's see if we can finish one of these boys off. That Wix hasn't got many hits left. Let's concentrate on him. Right, <laughs> four kills, nice. That was only one set of torpedoes, so, but was it from the Wicks or was it from the Isokazu? We'd be reloading soon anyway, actually. It looks like one of them didn't fire their torpedoes, which is an odd thing to do. Not with big stupid battleships so close. Oh, here we go. Run a collision course, deploy WASD hacks. And like that, <laughs> they were gone. <laughs> what a hack. What a great mod. Damn yeah, lying, really. It's tier 4 destroyers, isn't it? Their torpedo range is, isn't that large. And lucky old me, it's not quite long enough to get me. <laughs> That's the funny bit of the video. Do we go on to win? I think we go on to win. Maybe I'll fill in the time with a uh, quick review of the Kaiser. Well, it's fun, actually. In a sort of slow, ponderous sort of way. You'll notice the funky layout of guns. One forward, two middle, but they're not on the centre line. And then two at the rear. So you get some... They turn really slowly though, you've got lots of guns, and they're 
accurate enough for a for a battleship, a tier four battleship, i.e. disturbingly inaccurate at point blank range. But long ranges they seem to do okay. And you do have plenty of them. But they turn oh so slowly. Not huge range. So it, you do tend to have to turn your ship in order to get your guns to bear. They've got a fair a decent amount of kick on them. Good amount of burnination. Uh, penetration's a bit a bit lacking when you try and shoot Wyoming's, which are the tier four American battleships, in the side. Doesn't seem to go through that well. In flat you know, perpendicular short range. Blam! I got a hit. Yay, I get a uh, no. Hasn't gone through. Uh, no no citadel penetrations for me, boo. By the way, all in all, quite a fun ship. Doesn't get a scout plane. The Wyoming does. It's only tier 4. It gets a scout plane. Why don't I get a scout plane? Totally unfair. Aside from that, it's not really lacking in, it, in, in anything. It's got armour, it's got guns, it's got a health pool. What more do you want out of a battleship? Hydroacoustic search, like the Bismarck, that's what I want. That's why I'm going up the German battleship line. I've been playing in ranked battles and I keep on running into Bismarcks. Who go, oh Benson, on the other side of this island, I shall use my... Ra oh right, there, there he is. And see me all the way through this whacking great lump of rock. Seems a bit unfair. Anything else interesting to say about the Kaiser? Well, I'm dead now, but yeah, it's it's more fun than the Nassau. I can I can tell you that if you if you're trying the Nassau out and go, oh, this is horrible. I'm stopping here. No, no, the Kaiser's is much better than the Nassau. Oh, and the secondaries on this thing, not a huge range on them, but they do kick out a fair bit of damage, which is nice. Should any destroyer be suicidal enough to charge you? Or indeed another battleship suicidal enough to charge you. Oh, it's all over for me. Glug, glug, glug. That's it for this video. Join us for more shenanigans in the next amazing adventures of Dangerously Incompetent at Sea.